let us take a look at cross origin resources sharing also known as cores and I have to tell you I hate cores everyone hates cores because no matter how good you get at uh, cloud or uh, working with websites cores is so finicky and you're always going to be second guessing yourself with these settings so don't get frustrated if you run into issues with cores everybody does what is cores? It is an HTTP header based mechanism that allows a server to indicate any other origins, such as domain, scheme, port, than its uh, own from which a browser should permit loading of resources. So the idea is you have a website and that website has a domain, we'll say it's domain one. And so when your website, which is on the client side, goes out to the server side, it's going to say, hey, do are we operating on the same domain? And if it is, it's same origin. If you have uh, a website that is, that is domain one.com in your browser and it goes out to a server that's a domain two, then it's considered cross origin. And in that case, you have to have um, a header being passed along called access control allow origin or other headers there uh, to ensure that you can uh, access that data. If you don't, Cores is going to restrict which websites may access the data based on these headers. So to access uh, uh, control via HTTP headers. We have the request headers of origin, access control request method, access control request headers. For response headers, we're gonna get back things like access control allow origin, access control allow credentials, access control expose headers, access control max age, access control allow methods, access control allow headers. So yeah, I hate headers, but you run into them uh, probably like with CloudFront, S3, uh, API Gateway, those are the AWS services where we're gonna have to fiddle with them. But uh, you know, once they're working, it's all good, but it can be very frustrating. But we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that when that happens, okay?